Jesus Christ, is this where he really lives? It looks like a rat's nest. <sighs> oh my lord, this place even smells like crap. And this neighborhood seems dangerous. Maybe I shouldn't have brought the good car. <sighs> okay, Yubi, focus. You're going to meet the love of your life for the first time in 10 years. Oh no. I suddenly feel nervous. What if he hates how I look now? Or what if he thinks my outfit is too boring? I should have worn a pink skirt. No, it's better if he thinks I'm boring than childish. Okay. Worrying about it too much will just make it even more awkward. He's a nice guy, so he will be happy to see me. And after he hears me out, I'm sure he'll accept my proposal. Sorry, I'm not selling anything. Can you please open the door? I just want to talk to you. What? No, it's not about religion either. I just want to talk to someone I know. Well, someone that I used to know a long time ago. Please open the door. Oh my god, he looks even better now. When did he get so tall? And that beard, it looks so hot. Oh, sorry. I was spacing out. It's just... It took me a little by surprise to see how much you've changed since high school. Yes, high school. You know, like eight years ago. With Tom and Sarah. Mrs. Anderson. You remember Tom and Sarah? But you don't remember me? Oh, that's disappointing. I used to sit behind you. I used to wear glasses and my hair was this long. We even shared a textbook one day when you forgot yours. You still don't remember me? I was the girl that Allison used to make fun of. Oh, yes. Now you remember? Yes. I guess I was a very quiet person back then. I didn't really stand out that much. So it's not really weird that you don't remember anything about me, aside from Allison making fun of me. Oh, yeah, I remember that too. When she poured vinegar on my clothes while we were in P.E. Uh-huh. I remember that everyone laughed about it, except you. Also, that time when she put that adult magazine under my desk and told a teacher I was reading it during class. But enough about that. Tell me, how have you been? How has your life been all these years? Oh, so you got into comics and anime? That's interesting. Do you still talk to Bob after high school? Oh, you two don't talk since he ran over your dog? Uh, sorry to hear that. I think I ruined the mood. Did you go to college? Um, so what did you study? Oh, so you tried architecture, but you gave up on second year. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, about me, well, I'm currently working at this new oil company. Yeah, that one. Oh, I'm the CEO. Yes, well, I did major in economics. 
And after I finished college, things went very smoothly. And long story short, I'm a CEO before my 30s. But enough about me. How about you? What kind of job do you have? Ah, so the company you were working for got shut down. Internal Affairs found out your boss was committing tax fraud? For the past six years? Oh, dude, that's very rough. And you've been unemployed since... How long ago was that? Oh my god, you have... Have it rough. But you look like you are okay. I mean, other people in your place would surely have fallen into despair. But you're still smiling. Your smile is one of the things I remember the most about you. Oh, you're only making it through the day thanks to antidepressants? And you're only this happy now because you took your dose not so long ago. Um, I see. What about your parents? You were very close to your family, right? How have they been? I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm not gonna keep in touch with that subject again. I'm very sorry. Why am I here? Wait. Do you mean, why did I come here? Well, I wanted to talk to you about something that is a little hard to say, or even to propose. Look, this sounds kind of creepy, but listen till the end before you give me your answer. Have you heard of those people who pay younger girls or guys to be with them? But not something cold, just carnal relationship. More like dating and going shopping together, or to the cinema, or to a pool. Like a sugar mommy or daddy. Okay, so you have heard about it. Well, when we were in high school, I kind of had a crush on you. Well, not kind of. I was madly in love with you. I remember that I used to get home and write about you in my diary. I used to write things along the lines of, Today I saw a handsome guy of my class wearing a new shirt. Obviously, he looks great with anything he wears. Or, Today I heard one of his friends talking to him about what kind of girls he likes. Apparently, I need to change my hairstyle. Well, the point is, I was head over heels for you, but I never managed to confess my feelings. Mostly due to the fact that I knew you were going to reject me. Because, well, I was the most unpopular girl at school. I was also too shy to try to play the long route of casually starting to talk to you in order to become your friend. And then, with the time getting closer and closer, till eventually I had the confidence to confess, I thought of confessing to you while crying to make you feel obligated to go out with me. But I thought that maybe if I do that, you would get pissed off, and I would lose any hope. Well, the thing is, I want to pay you to be my boyfriend. I would pay you at least three times what you were making in your last job. And you don't have to be with me every day. Just the weekends. The only thing I'll ask of you is that you act like you really love me. And give me a lot of love and affection. What? I don't think I'm getting it. Why not? I mean, you obviously need the money. You want to go out with me like a normal couple. Really. But I thought no one could. That you never would. I never thought you could have feelings for me. Wait, you don't need to... It's okay, just don't... 
You don't have to hug my legs and cry. It's okay. Shh. Everything's going to be okay. It's okay. You never thought someone could love you either? But... N no. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. From now on, you can rely on me. Every time you need to cry, I'll hold you. Every time you need someone to remind you that you're worthy, I'll be there for you. Every time you feel lost, I'll help you find your way back home. Every time you feel like you have nothing in this life, I'll remind you that you have me. It's okay. I'm sorry you feel that way, but I'm here now, okay? Mm hmm Everything's going to be fine. Oh my god, look at the hour. I need to go to a meeting. Can I come back tomorrow? Or this weekend? That's amazing. Just promise me you'll be alright till I come back. I love you. Bye. Oh my god. For a while, I didn't think this shit was going to work out. Well, in a sense, it didn't. I mean, the original plan was to make the company shut down so he needed the money. And I'll force him to accept to be my sugar baby. But in a way, this is better. Ah, uh, yes, this was way better. I never thought I would see him in a such vulnerable emotional state. I felt so sad when he cried. But at the same time, it was so arousing to see him vulnerable. I feel like in this state, he would accept anything that I offer him. I could actually turn him into my submissive slave boyfriend. Or my trophy husband. No, that's fucked up. Let's not think about it. For now, at least. <laughs>